Hey Campaholics, we are here at the Florida RV Super Show and today we are going to take you on this brand new Sticks and Tin Momentum that is under 7,000 pounds and it's a toy hauler. It is the MAV Momentum Action Vehicle. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Campaholics! on the outside of this 27 Mav, you've got two LED lights, you have a 19 foot awning, you have pretty good windows uh, for, for light, you've got your Rockford Fox gate speakers, you've got your cable, and you've got a 110 outlet right here on your campsite. And real quick here, we'll just show you the really good size pass-through pass -through storage with, a light, with two lights. Front cap. It's a real clean looking paint job no you know it's just very in your face you see what it is uh, and, and just very clean uh, with your diamond plate down here you got your two 20 pound propane tanks coming around here and here's the other side of your uh, pass-through storage with your wet bay your furion hot water heater uh, you've got 110 outlet your cable your satellite and then your battery disconnect which is nice having this here you won't knock it on the wall they've moved it so you're not actually going to be have a chance to turn that off accidentally. Coming on, whoops, coming on down here, your hot water heater, and then your black tank flush. And then this does, you can't see, the ladder to your fully walkable roof, which has an 18-year warranty, which is it's gone up from 12 to 18. So that's a really nice new feature that Grand Design has put on these rigs. All right, come on around. Let's go look on the inside of this Mav toy hauler. Before we come in, I'm gonna mention this has a one inch deck flooring, which that means they have not skimped on support for this toy hauler. It's, it may be small, it's about 32, length, 32 feet in length, but it's got some really powerful features. Come on in. So you can see immediately, um, the, the openness for the toy hauler plus the cabinetry. I mean, look at the light that that deck, having that deck down lets in. So as you can see, this has already been set up. You can convert convert, convert this toy hauler into a, a you know good sleeping quarters for a family of at least five. You can put two up here, two down here, and then you have you know two in your bedroom. These flip over to make a queen size bed. Once you put the feet down to give yourself some support, and then these smoosh in there to, to make a bed. Or you could use it as two twin beds and then one queen bed up there. There is a table that comes with this sitting out here on the deck, so this is also your dining area as well. Once you flip it back up. I call these bus seats. I don't really know what they're called, but this, <laughs> but they do not go up and down they will flip up against the windows when you want to bring your toys in. So there's your table that would just slide right in here and then you have your dining area. This bed goes up and out of the way. So this is what they call the sleep and store system. You'll lift this up, push the back up. If I was a little taller, and then there it is. Really isn't too hard, has a strut system, and then you'll lock the bed in place for travel. So this is where your TV would go. So this is kind of like your living area um, when you're not using it as a toy hauler. But you can see you've got your tie downs that come all the way up to here. You come in, you got you know, a good spot, spot up here for a coffee pot, something like that. You got your Rockford Fosgate stereo system, your Furion microwave, and you have two pretty deep drawers for storage here, but there is a lot of kitchen cabinetry storage for this toy hauler. And they have this smoked glass, which I really like because you don't get to see what's in your cabinets. But yeah, nice, nice uh, brushed nickel hardware and very decent deep counter space back here. 
plenty of storage, deep storage there, trash can storage, if whatever you want to have it, and your, and your deep drawers. Three burner stove. Fridge. Freezer. And then, yep, and then you have all the way back there, storage back there. Looks tall enough for even for cereal boxes. Got a big window here, smaller balances to give you lots of light. You've got your blackout, cool down, pleated shades. So, coming out here to your party deck. If it's as a deck, it has a 1,500 pound capacity. When you use it as a ramp, it has a 3,000 pound capacity. You just unbuckle these uh, turnbuckles here, lower it down as a ramp. Yeah, so you've got a place to hang out, especially at the racetrack. You know, people like to hang out, socialize. You do have a door here to get in, but as you can see, we are packed in here today, so I can't really open this. And having this table is, is nice because you can move it out here. You can have seating out here, you can have seating in there. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera, and it also has an LED lighting to give you some nice lighting for outside. Even coming in, even with the door shut, you're not like walking right into something. And these Momentums have a 101 inch wide body. That helps make this small rig look and feel bigger. Uh, coming down here, even with the door shut, like I said, you're not crammed on top of each other. This is a friction hinge door and it is Lippert thin shade ready. So you can totally leave that open with no shade and you can see out or you can put a shade and have a lot of privacy. And I like the fact now that we're doing clear glass. You can always see out. So coming on down here is your control panel, black tank. Uh, you know, I believe your exterior lights are on this, your awnings. And you know, I just didn't realize this rig has no slides. So look at how big it still feels, you know, with not having slides. I mean, you have, the, the, again, attributes to the 101 inch wide body. Carbon monoxide sensor there as well, your Fury on the control. Here's your bath. Really decent sized bath, but what I'm gonna say, I think so far, what I've seen of the, what they're doing, is getting rid of those heavy glass doors. And going with this Nautilus system, trackless, no track to clean, shower door. So even in here, the height, this is an 84 inch height uh, momentum. So you've got, and with the skylight, you have plenty of room and I'm short, so you really can't count on how I look in here. But well, let's just switch roles and see. There All right, guys, I'm six foot with my shoes on, 5'11", six foot, and I still got plenty of headroom in here to use the shower. And you're good to go. Yep. Nice, nice ceiling height for a travel trailer toy hauler. Medicine cabinet, you have nice little storage here. Um, decent storage underneath in your drawer. So, and you've got good counter space. So it's a really, it's a small sink, but they have changed this so you can actually get your hands up underneath the fixture. So that's nice, that's a nice feature. So this is a come into the bedroom. This unit actually has two ACs. It comes with one, but uh, the second AC is an option, which I'm gonna tell you right now, I would definitely recommend. Furion AC, you've got plenty, actually for a toy hauler, pretty decent space in here. This looks like this is an RV queen, but you've got your storage here for your closet, standard, you know, in the nose. But what I like about it is for CPAP users or just hidden storage, you've got space behind the bed with outlets and USB. So you have like a place to put your phone, even though you don't really have any side tables, you've got these cute little cubbies. And if you probably put some baskets or shelving, you can probably get some extra more storage for clothing back there. You got storage up here for clothing. Same thing on that side for clothing. Your TV backer is over there as well. And the armoire here behind Michael for more storage with two drawers for extra clothing. Nice light in here, nice good windows. Again, with the pull down pleated blackout shades. And then there is, I believe, under here, really deep 
Oops. Oh, Somebody measure. had some issues with the tape measure, <laughs> but that's some really good deep storage there mm -hmm. on the struts. Put your helmets or something, something like yeah. that in there. So all in all, this 27 Mav really does, it gives you ample living space and because most smaller toy haulers have just enough room for their toys and you don't really have any living space. You pull your toys out. You've got living space. You've got room to put the table back here. You've got room to put some chairs in here. You know, just all in all, walking in this 6 and 10 Momentum toy hauler, you can feel the upgrades, the solidness with the one inch decking flooring, the height. It's, it's just a feels like a solid travel trailer toy hauler where you don't have the wiggle waggle. Um, a, a, what I feel is your normal toy haulers. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tour of the 27 Mav. It is still in the beginning stages of production. So some of these things that we are going to, that we've talked about may change a little bit. So you'll check with your local dealer, but drop your comments and your thoughts below and let us know what you think of this. Is this something that you could use? What's a recommendation? All right, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.